It is time once again for the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament where we are celebrating Dick's second false eulogy. He did not get removed from the tournament last time. It turns out the um, number of turns that um, he survived mitigated the negative he got from dying in the game just enough so that he uh, fell just above that crucial um, negative, 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 negative 750 point mark. And so he's got negative 710 points. If he doesn't win any more games, um, the next game he loses, I, I think for sure he's probably out unless he for some reason gets a penalty of zero uh, in some future game. We'll have to determine that. So that's some good news. Um, to look at some bad news, let's let's turn to the board. So it's very cold once again, and once again Tater is going to be the only person with action. She's kind of in a similar situation with Sonny as she was with Dick. Remember, Sonny came in already wounded, um, and his wounds have gotten to the point where he can no longer act. He's pretty much just going to be lying here, um, which is pretty rough on him, pretty rough on Tater as in Tot, because she's going to have to kind of hold down the fort on her own, which means she's going to want to go outside and risk getting shot by a sniper. And again, they have no bandages. So hopefully her her luck will will bear out and she'll be okay. But first, we have to resolve this chapter thing. Um, you have just finished the first chapter of the campaign. Add the Night Raid and Residence cards that have not been used in the game. So we have to add all the harder cards to the game now. And then we resolve this top objective, taking care of ourselves. They did not take care of themselves. Um, so raise one chosen character's illness by two. Uh, I, Sonny would have a hard time arguing that it shouldn't be him to be, to be um, to become sick because you know, and I think if he did and it came down to it, I would have to rule because we'd have to you know make a ruling on this, right? If since there's just two of them, they can't vote because um, it would probably be a split vote. And since he's the one who is in fact miserable, it makes sense that he would be the one who's sick and he's wounded and everything else. So. I think his his illness is going to go up too, and plus, it you know if she gets sick, she's going to have even fewer actions. Right now, she has one action, but she can rest as her first action, giving herself another two actions to do some things. And he, you know he's pretty much depending on her to save him. So there's really no reason for him not to take the hit there. And I think we will continue. So there's going to be a new objective. I think you're supposed to be able to see these objectives, but I just kind of, I don't want to think of it. Collect vegetables. All right. Got to collect vegetables. We'll put this thing on the zero mark there. And if we can get five vegetables, they will, these, these refugees will help us by removing some rubble or something like that. Tater's going outside to see if she can find someone else to come live in her house of horrors. Um, she has to roll anything other than a one or get shot. All right, she did. So let's see who our new character is. Again, since there's just two of them, she doesn't have to draw a visitor card. She can just draw an, oh no, she has to draw an arrival and then we'll draw the character. So we just keep drawing until we get a card that says arrival. Because it's not just any arrival. It's not just a character. They have sets of conditions with them. So this one is malnourished. So they're gonna be hungry, but they have some stuff with them. No bandages, unfortunately, uh, but, okay, so our character is going to be Boris. I, I already saw that when I turned it up, and I will take a look at, ooh, Boris, I think I remember which person that is. Factory worker. Let's see, Boris, ch -ch -ch -ch. Danimal, yay! Okay, Danimal's going to play with us, fun! All right, and Danimal, he had biology as his thing, so we are going to give him a 50-50 chance to have bandages or herbal meds. Um, let's see what he has. So one through five is bandages, six through ten herbal meds. One through five he has bandages, so they are going to be able to bandage up um, Sunny. And I guess I don't see why they wouldn't do that, except that those bandages could be useful to other people later, and Sunny might just die. He's in really rough shape. If not from mis I mean, that just seems like a waste to use the, the bandages on Sunny. Because they don't have any water or any food. Um, Sonny, granted, Sonny's not hungry, but the water could make him die of misery, like, right now. And they don't have any alcohol. And Tater, as in Tot, has one more action. Danimal doesn't have any actions because we're on the third action phase. 
there's not really any quick quick thing where they can get anyone or anything which is why maybe she should try to get someone to come in so she could start she could build something except we don't have any components so she can't even do that I think she needs to go back outside and just see if she can find someone else um, in this case we would have to draw a visitor's card um, and just do what it says but it's going to be kind of a shot in the dark. Maybe she'll find someone to trade with, though, and then she could get what she needs. So we're not going to put the bandages on yet. Um, he obviously can't make that choice since he's too wounded to do anything, so it's going to have to be the people who are up and about. All right, let's draw a visitor's card. Beggars. Beggars are asking for food and meds. If you decide to share by discarding from the storage any green-yellow tokens with a total value of five or more, Roll the black die and compare the result with each character's empathy. A result that is equal to or less than a character's empathy equals lower their misery by one. If they don't share, we can raise our empathy. So I think we could probably afford that. Um, green, yellow, five or more. All right. So we got one. God, we're going to have to just lose some meds. It's basically what we got to do. So... Sunny also needs meds. Or we could lose the bandages. He's kind of screwed either way. Because green things, we just have coffee and cigarettes and chems, and that's all, that only adds up to three. So, and his empathy is very low, so we might just be throwing this stuff away. I think we don't do it. Tater, do we do it? Let's look at your traits, Tater. Fast, industrious, sensitive. She is sensitive, but I think she's also pragmatic, maybe. Animal, what would you do? American fun boy. He hates cigarette smoke. Does his... Nope, his person doesn't... Oh, yep, his his character does smoke. That's It's got to be hard on him. Um... I think he'll probably go with whatever Tater says. I think Tater says we need those meds. We need those bandages. I think she's she's gonna just screw it. So let's uh, look at empathy here. Okay, Tater's okay. Oh no, uh, Danimal's okay. Tater now. Oh, three. Her misery does go up one, which is appropriate because she made the choice. And now we look at Sunny's misery. Empathy is three. Oh, Sunny. That was too much for him. Sunny is depressed. And I think we'll read the entry on here. Depression death is more interesting than hunger death So, and wound death. So C208. Sunny was unable to accept the reality of his situation. He despised his weakness and inability to control what was happening. He knew only one way out. He killed himself. There was no suicide note. Remove this character from the game. And we really do have to remove Sonny from the game and the tournament because he is currently at negative 584. I think he's going to go down negative 450, which is well below negative 750. So this is this war of mine. And we're saying goodbye to Sonny. So long. And since those beggars didn't bring any food, we're also going to have to say goodbye to Danimal. Um, Danimal actually just lost the tournament because of a game he didn't actually get to do anything in. The reason why he's dying? Hunger. He came in needing food. Tater's like, come on in. We'll help you. And there is no food. So Danimal was a fun guy. And I'm really going to miss his smile. His laugh and his intense, intense eyes. All right, so a very hungry Tater is now alone uh, to take up guard duty all by herself. Let's see who we have coming in. A reality impact. The night was strangely calm. A new moon. The city was enveloped in darkness. From time to time, missiles were fired from the north, and soon afterwards, the sky lit up. 
As the light from the missiles faded, the streets fell once more into darkness. Those who are out on the town are lucky. No sniper can spot a target on a night like this. On this sort of night you can see the stars, a sorry sky over the heart of a great city. I watch the stars until dawn. All right, raise the illness of all ill characters who did not take any meds by one. Heal the wounds of all characters who had bandages by one. Ooh, Sunny would have made it. Discard bandage tokens from all characters. If cold tokens minus board ups equals five or more, it does because we have six cold tokens and one board up. So six minus one is five. Raise the illness of all characters by one. Welcome to being sick. It's going to be okay. Uh, medium location goes away, uh, not the nearest large location. New location is going to be a quiet house. There's canned food there. All right. Um, discard one coffee from the storage or raise Amelia's misery by one. Sonny did do one thing. He brought her back some coffee. So she's going to be okay on that score. Then we're going to get some more narrative actions. Let's turn this sideways to remember to shuffle. Which probably should have used this narrative action <laughs> last time. Earlier, she could have had um, three more actions, but it, I, it wouldn't have been enough to save those fellows, but maybe to save herself, because she's in pretty big danger right now. <gasps> she's got the thing where she can get two cards from the visitor's deck. Play at the end of any phase. I think she's got to do that. Play when crafting and ignore the requirement for one and blah, blah. So let's get some more people. So she's not doing this all alone. Who's there? Draw and resolve. So this is the end of the dawn phase, right? So she can play this right now. Two cards from the visitor, visitor's deck. Are we going to get an arrival? We get an arrival and we get a gossip. Look at the top card from the night raids, events, residence, or locations deck. Let's look at the night raids deck. It's going to be looters. I'm just going to turn that face up because I might leave the game and come back to it so then I can see it. And then we have a grim stranger asks for shelter. Ooh, they have misery. All right. Okay, grim stranger, who are you going to be? Bruno. A TV host chef, the grim chef, arrives. You don't know my pain. All right, let's see who Bruno is. Bruno has some jewelry, which is an interesting thing to bring. Jewelry and a hatchet. So did you lose a loved one or was it something darker? Let's find out who it is. It's Flips. Flips is Bruno. And uh, Bruno has a, uh, something that could be very useful because we are very hungry. Um, by we, I mean Tater who has kind of been the only person who has stuck around, in fact, has been, you know, except for me and you. Um, but Bruno, Flips via Bruno, can add one vegetable to the stock storage. Uh, it's a 50-50 chance, but it takes an action. Um, doesn't like to be hungry. All right. So I think one, one thing in Flips' favor is she's not going to immediately die. Let's see what our next event is. Famine! Okay, so this sounds worse than it is. Um, oh, we get to remove the snipers, which is good. It's actually better. It just makes it so that um, food type items can be traded for even more. They're worth more on the market. That's good. It sounds like food is going to be the name of the game here. We got food as our objective. We got a new TV chef here um, who is a little bit distraught, but, you know, maybe... We can find someone who plays a guitar. We could fix the guitar and make everyone happy again, right? All right, so we got two people with two actions. Let's get to it. We are cooking now. We are cooking. All right, our lack of components in wood make, makes it difficult for us to really build anything. Um, we really need some food or Tater is going to be dead. Tater's hoping that there might be some food in this furniture. Flips is going to go ahead and get us a new character to come along. Oh, yeah, I got to do an arrival card. And here's an arrival. It is a feverish stranger. So it's someone who's sick. Sickness is something we can kind of deal with. We do have some meds, but we now have two people who are going to be sick. Uh, but this person comes with a shotgun and bandages, which are very useful. So let's see who is joining the team. Zlata. And let's see who Zlata is. 
Zlata is cowboy. Oh, it's about to get fun again. I bet you were all pretty down because everyone was dying, but now it's going to be fun. Cowboy is going to make everything better and just, what, uh, cowboy, yeah, I remembered he had a fairly high score, relatively high, negative 164, so even if he dies right away, he's not going to get removed from the tournament, so that's good because cowboy is pretty much everyone's favorite. Um, or at least he's pretty darn lovable. Okay, a lot depends on this furniture here. We are going to be doing maybe three kind of shots in the dark to try to save our people. Um, both uh, Flips and Tater are both in danger of dying here very soon. So Flips is going to try to pull a vegetable out of her hat by rolling a six or higher. She does not. Uh, cowboy is going to check for visitors. Let's see if Cowboy gets wounded first. He does not. But the visitor is a starving neighbor. The neighbor begs for any food. Uh, we don't have any food. Um, so nothing happens. Okay. Now we got to see what this furniture card is. Remember, furniture is the top tier of what you can find in the house. So hopefully we'll get some water and some... We got some food! Just one raw food. So, sugar and a mechanical part. I keep getting mechanical parts, but I haven't been able to use them because I didn't have enough uh, components in wood. Um, but now we got some wood, so we would be able to fix that guitar, for example. Uh, but unfortunately, we are out of actions. So, let's go ahead and find out what happens to everyone. I think everyone agrees that Tater can have the food. It's a little, could be contentious, but she did bring everyone into this thing and it's kind of hard to deny her that. So since it's raw food, she actually gets to increase her hunger, or lower her hunger rather than just keep it the same. Everyone else, however, is gonna become hungry. And I'll just do that later. Now we gotta roll for the water effects. Um, and this is where uh, Flips could die. She could just become too depressed from lack of water, and one to five. So if she rolls six or higher, we'll roll her last. Let's do cowboy first. One to five is hunger, so cowboy's gonna have two hunger now. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. One for the lack of food, one for the lack of water. And now we'll do tater as in tot. And she would have died if, if not for that raw food. She became hungry from lack of water. And now flips. So remember, if she rolls a six or higher, we're gonna have to say goodbye to flips forever. And yep, goodbye flips forever. Flips had lost all hope. As she stood on the chair, she thought about what might have been with the friend she had lost. She scratched her neck. The rope was rough. With a final sigh, she stepped off the chair. She died alone. Remove this character from the game. Back to game. So Cowboy went off exploring the abandoned cottage. He thought he'd take a look around first by uh, discarding two exploration cards. And here's what he found. Um, and it was it's not necessarily going to be this every time that you were, would look in an abandoned cottage. You have one of four potentialities. Uh, family barricaded themselves in this house, but despite their efforts, looters still got inside. The house has been abandoned ever since. Still, we might find some useful things inside that the looters overlooked. The looters must have been in a hurry. There's still a lot of stuff left. So then we get four cards back. So that's a net gain of two cards. That's a good reward for a healthy, curious mind. You'll note that uh, Cowboy took along everything that wasn't heavy, too. That's just so that that stuff doesn't get looted. Some of it's quite valuable, like bandages and jewelry and stuff like that. And also, if he runs across someone you can trade with, we could really, um, it would be nice to be able to trade out some of the stuff for stuff that's, that's more immediately useful to us. All right, so first we have a closed door. There's not a closed door in this abandoned cottage, so we draw from here. Reality impact! You can tell the difference between the townsfolk and people from the country right away. Well, at least it used to be this way. Now we all look the same. Shadows of what we used to be. A man who must have been a farmer once now sits in the corner and weeps, mumbling something to himself quietly. He just got into the city through the woods, running from the front line. So many women, so many children just lying there. Every few steps, they look like they were 
They were like they were asleep. Only those wounds. Those horrible wounds. No man could do that. Only a beast. There's a sack next to the farmer. You can see some potatoes and other vegetables inside. So you could take it. He wouldn't even notice. He doesn't care about us or the world around him. Add three vegetables and raw, one raw food to the findings. Write down 1442 on the save sheet in the epilogue. Or we could leave him alone. I think Cowboy's gonna take it. He's totally gonna take from this poor old man. You know, this guy seems like he's already about lost to misery anyway. We know what that's like. It's not like he's gonna be needing to eat. His hunger's probably at, what, zero, and his misery's at three, so let's go ahead and uh, help our hunger so that we don't become miserable like this poor guy. All right, thanks, cowboy. Hiding place. You can get a hiding place. Um, we've done this before. Does cowboy want a hiding place? I think he probably does. He's got enough cards. He's got a lot of exploration cards, so why not? He's probably going to be going for a while. There's no rubble in this abandoned cottage. I think I saw something. Return as many exploration cards. Uh, okay. We'll return two. And we'll roll 1d10. Add two to it. Eight. Nothing caught us. All right. You can ignore this card or hide out. That lets us reduce the noise. The noise is still at one, though, so we're not going to mess with that. There's a door. Um, he's just going to roll for noise and go in. It's okay. Search the pantry. Yes. Now, here it says private. So if there was someone here, they would have a problem with us looking in it, but no one's here. He's going to raise the noise by one. And roll for noise. Sorry, Tater. He's okay. Um, so let's see what we find in the pantry. We find vegetables, sugar, a cigarette, and nine. Another vegetable. When it rains, it, it snows. Here we go. We've got two more vegetables. We might even be able to spare some for our objective. Might not be a bad idea because we're full on vegetables. We can't really find any more. And I think you can just go ahead and pop those. Uh, maybe not during a scavenging though. But if they're when we get back, we can pop some of those over, and then we can find more vegetables because otherwise we can't. We're limited. So let me finish putting the stuff over here, and then we'll come back to more exploration in the abandoned cottage. Stairs up. Look for another way. Return two exploration cards or raise the noise by two and roll for noise. What does the hiding place do? can ignore a residence card. How many cards do we have left? Not too many. I think we're going to raise the noise by two and roll for noise. Cowboy's a risk taker too. Seven. He's still okay. Nothing. We could poke about. Return one exploration card or to choose one finding from the special findings chart of this location. Okay, so what would our choices be? Mechanical part, chems, or a vegetable? We're already full on vegetables. There's no more in the store, I don't think, unless I have some in this punch thing. Oh, there is one more vegetable. I think he will take a, the vegetable. Let's just cost one exploration card. Or he could roll for noise. I think he's going to just get rid of the exploration card. Great. This has been very fruitful. All right. Reality impact! Okay. Um, okay. Let's see what we got. Black. And we're going to be back over here in the abandoned cottage. Two rally impacts, 5-5-2. Five, five, Last one was, was very fruitful, or very vegetable-ful. <laughs> Let's see if this one is maybe raw food-ful, or maybe canned food-ful. Hmm? The room was quiet and empty, but a cigarette still burning in the ashtray betrayed that someone had been here very recently. Through the partially blocked window, we could see a shoe on the bare ground in the garden outside. Because the window didn't allow us to see much more, we walked outside. An old woman's body was sprawled between fresh plant beds. A sniper had shot her in the head. A hoe and a basket of vegetables lay next to her, all covered in blood. Within moments, we are digging out vegetables that we haven't eaten in months. We stop only when the sniper fires another shot. Luckily for us, this time he missed. We run away with bags full of food. Add four vegetables to the findings pile. So 
we're full on vegetables now. And that is kind of sad because we stole from that old man to get vegetables when we could have just taken from this corpse to get vegetables. Um, so that's a little tragic. But still, I mean, we're, we're kind of um, cursed by riches. Let's see. Bars. There are no bars. Climb up. Look for another way. Return three exploration cards or roll the great combat die for each scavenging character. Um, characters may use their prowess. Uh, you have no prowess, cowboy. I think you better go home. There's only one exploration card left anyway. This hiding place was useless. Again, never get to use the hiding place. We could have searched a heap, too. Ugh. Okay, but still, we got a lot of stuff. A lot of it we brought with us. And I think you can carry everything back, yeah. Um, cowboy actually has a pretty good inventory size. Four. That's above average. Seems like most people have three. If we look at all our corpses over here, they all have... Oh, man, look at Boris. He had an inventory of six. But Boris is no longer with us. All right, let's take a look. It's now going to be Tater as in top versus the looters. All right, uh, she's got a shotgun. She has one reroll. Let's see what she can get here. Two, two sprinks, so she can keep the wounds off of herself and then lose a bunch of stuff. Uh, the expensive stuff first, so what would she lose? She would lose that two hatchets, a pistol, a knife. She want to reroll it? I think she does. I think she does, because she could she could just kill them all. Oh, and um, she could also ignore all the wounds from the night raid. She should have brought a. Oh, she does. She could have a hatchet with her and just. Um, yeah, let's say she ignored the whole thing because we knew this looters was coming up. She could have the hatchet, and that's just a lot easier than than trying to scrape by with that stuff. Okay, let's bring Cowboy back and we will do our fates and then we'll draw our narrative actions and then we'll call it quits for this episode of the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Tip Make Term. I'm sure it's comforting for you to know what's coming up. All right, so we have some illnesses. Let's let's treat that before we draw the thing. Um, we only have one meds though. Do we have any herbal meds? No, we do not. We just have one meds. Who's going to get it? Tater as in tot or cowboy? Whew. Well, I think Tater would want it. She's been here for a long time. Truck driver, cowboy. Someday have my truck paid for and be out of the hole. Always late, never in time. Tourists going too slow. Chap lips. The old fella. Gotta go. My wife and my truck. Good, bad, always late. I don't know if he's going to be chivalrous. He seems like he would have some sense of male chivalry. Um, I think she's going to get the meds. Okay, and point-wise, who's in more of a danger of being knocked out? Remember, Cowboy has high score. He He's not going to lose if he loses this game no matter what. And Tater, do you see her up there? Yeah, she could at this point. Um, she needs to be able to survive at least one more turn, and then she's she won't lose the tournament if she dies. All right. Fate is raise the illness of all ill characters who do not take meds, herbal meds, by one. Sorry, cowboy. And then heal all the wounds of all characters who had bandages. No one's wounded. That's a happy thing. Discard bandages. So we get to keep the we do keep get to keep the meds on her. So she's still taking medication. If cold tokens, yeah, everyone's gonna get one more illness. Cowboy is getting really sick here, and she's back to two. Um, Change the nearest small location. Buy abandoned cottage. You were a fun place. We had a lot of fun in the abandoned cottage, didn't we? Um, and then the C. Lower two chosen characters' misery by one. Just by being around Cowboy, you feel better. And her misery is completely gone. Unless this, um, the C for here, if they're at least, yeah, if she gets her misery back. Okay. Now, if we could get his, um, if we could get that guitar fixed, she could do that for A, too, I guess. Um, or he could. 
Let's see what our narrative actions are, and then we will be signing off. A headshot. Play during combat to automatically kill one enemy. We do have a couple guns. And then we have secret storage. I think we're going to go with the gun thing instead. And that's going to do it for this episode of the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament. We're still pretty banged up. Tater's still hanging on, though, partially thanks to um, the charity of those around her, partially um, due to her own tenacity. She has not wanted to give up. And as such, she is now at the point where she can afford to die and not lose the tournament, though you know, it could kind of spell her death later. See you next time on the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament. This war of mine, we're in the English leg, in case you were wondering.